from Josh Bryant for the affirmative. I love that sound. What's my point again? If you like our uniforms, they're equalizers. Now we'll hear the rebuttal from Mia Thermopolis, who will present the negative argument against our proposition. Um, I think, um, Thank you. 
Mia, finish up with Mrs. Talman and then you can take a break. We have a huge tip from Mrs. Hirsch. Oh, and I got one from Mrs. Talman. We are doing all right today. Uh, Mr. Walsh's ropes are twisted. Mr. Walsh? Hi. Stop twisting. You'll strangle yourself. Hi, Mom. You threw up, huh? <laughs> and you ran away. I'm trying to forget about it. Can I have some shoes and shock, please? Anyway, I'll go talk to your debate teacher. What's his name? Mr. Mr. O'Connell, and straighten it all out. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm never going to be a good public speaker. Just call him and tell him I want to be a mime. I can do that. Here you go. Oh, your grandmother called. What? The live one. Who lives in Genovia, Clarice. Oh. Wow. This is the first time she's ever contacted us. What you want? She's in town. She wants to have tea. Tea? She came all the way from Europe to have tea. I think I'm going to climb a little bit. Rocks around the clock. Isn't this the grandmother who made you two get a divorce? Well, she didn't approve of me, but Philippe and I made the decision to divorce on our own. Why should I go see a snobby lady who ignores us? Mia, she's your father's mother. Just go see her tomorrow. Please. Tension. She said... Your father hoped that you two would make something. All right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, thanks. No problem. Oh, Michael. Are you sure you can't help me with my spotted owl petition today? I told you, I'm meeting my grandmother after school. All right. Catch a folly star and put it in your pocket. Never let it fade away. Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. Save it for a rainy day. Saturday, young lady. I'm here for a meeting with my grandmother. Name? Clarice Rinaldi. Oh, uh, please come to the front door. Thank you very much. Welcome, Miss Thermopolis. We've been expecting you. Be careful. Please don't crush my soy nuts. Your soy nuts are safe. Okay. Right this way. Please make yourself comfortable. to goose feathers. Hello, Amelia. I'm Charlotte from the Genovian Attaché Corps. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Um, where am I? The Genovian Consulate. You got pears in your, your flowers. Genovian pears. We're famous for them. Oh. Now, if you'll sit down, she'll be with you in a moment. No, I don't need a moment. I'm here. Amelia, I'm so glad you could come. Hi. You've got a great place. Thank you. Well, let me look at you. You look so young. Thank you. And y you look so clean. Uh, Charlotte, <laughs> would you go and check on tea in the garden? Uh, please, sit. <laughs> so, um, my mom said you wanted to talk to me about something to shoot. Oh, uh, before I shoot, I have something I want to give you. Here. Oh, um, thank you. Wow. Oh. It's the Genovian crest. It was mine when I was young. Ah, and that was my great-grandmother's. <laughs> I'll keep this safe. I will take good care of it. 
Now, what did you want to tell me? Something that I think will have a very big impact upon your life. I already have braces. No, it's, it's bigger than orthodontia. The tea is served, ma'am. Amelia, have you ever heard of Edouard Christophe Philippe Gerard Rinaldi? No. He was the crown prince of Genovia. Hmm. What about him? Edouard Christophe Philippe Gerard Rinaldi was your father. <laughs> yeah, sure. My father was the prince of Genovia. Uh huh. You're joking. Why would I joke about something like that? No! No, because if he's really a prince, then I... Exactly. You're not just Amelia Thermopolis. You are Amelia Mignonette Thermopolis Renaldi, Princess of Genovia. Me? A, a princess? Shut up! I beg your pardon? Shut up. Your Majesty, in America, it doesn't always mean be quiet. Here it could mean, wow, gee whiz, golly, what oh, is... Oh, I, I understand. Thank you. Nevertheless, you are the princess, and I am Queen Clarice Rinaldi. Why on earth would you pick me to be your princess? Since your father died, you are the natural heir to the throne of Genovia. That's our law. I'm royal by marriage. You are royal by blood. You can rule. Rule? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Now you have really got the wrong girl. I never lead anybody. Not at, not at brownies. Not at campfire oh, girls. Um, Queen Clarice, my expectation in life is to be invisible, and I'm good at it. Amelia, I had other expectations also. In my wildest dreams, I never expected this to happen. But you are the legal heir, the only heir to the Genovian throne, and we will accept the challenge of helping you become the princess that you are. Oh, I can give you books. You will study languages, history, art, political science. I can teach you to walk, talk, sit, stand, eat, dress like a princess. Given time, I think you'll find the palace in Genovia a very pleasant place to live. Live in it's Genovia? A country, Amelia, really. Whoa, whoa, just rewind and freeze. I am no princess. I am still waiting for normal body parts to arrive. I refuse to move to and rule a country. And do you want another reason? I don't want to be a princess. Oh, Amelia, 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 come back here. Oh. Well, that went well, didn't it? Uh, perhaps she needs more time. Will you help me? Miss Thermopolis? I'm the head of your security, and you want me to be a chauffeur and a babysitter? For the time being, yes. The child needs protection. <laughs> You couldn't find a spare minute to tell me that my father is a royal? I thought I was doing the right thing. Oh, the right thing for who, Mom? For all of us. I mean, if we secretly divorced, he would be able to find a woman who would stay by his side in Genovia and produce heirs, and I would be free to live my life with you. I mean, please, we met in college. I was young. I, I wanted to paint. I mean, can you see me walking one step behind someone for the rest of my life? I mean, with rules and regulations and the waiting and the bowing and the scraping? I mean, I was scared. Well, living with a mother who lied to me for 15 years scares me. Where are you going? I'm going straight to the royal bedchamber. After the divorce, we we'll all discussed it. Your father and your grandmother both agreed to keep that distance so you would have a chance of a normal childhood, free of emotional complications. We were going to tell you when you were 18 years old, but when your father died, things changed, Mia. We wanted to protect you. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I don't feel protected. You try living for 15 years thinking that you're one person, and then in five minutes you find out that you're a princess. You know what? Just, just in case I'm not enough of a freak already, let's add a tiara. Well, drink your soup. I'm not really hungry. Fine. Good night, sweetheart. Pat Louie. You are so lucky you don't know who your parents are. I've never written in a limo. He admitted bitterly to himself as he crossed to the open window. He looked out at the bay, the fog looming like his pathetic life before him. I can't believe I won an Emmy. I have his favorite photo of Philippe. We had so much 
much fun when we were here in college. He was, he was so full of joie de vivre, always laughing and smiling. I remember. Helen, if Amelia refuses to accept the throne, then Genovia will cease to exist as we know it. So the future of your country is in the hands of my 15-year-old? Here it is. Mm. Oh. Philippe was ready to be king. Then the terrible accident. Even though it didn't work out between us, I loved your son very much. Thank you. Well, as always, this is as good as it's gonna get. Hmm. I can't wait until she's 18. Oh, this is a nightmare. I'm going back to bed. No. Yeah, the, the three of us have to talk. Oh, okay. Um, is there something else about me and my life that just maybe I might want to know about? Or, oh, no. Are you too waiting to take me on a talk show somewhere to let me know that I have a twin sister who's a duchess? You have a cousin who's a contessa, fondly known as Bartholomew. Actually, we call him Pookie. Yesterday did not go well. Will you just listen to your grandmother? Amelia, in a matter of weeks, we have an annual ball. I was, or I am, hoping that I may present you to the press and the public on that occasion. However, you desperately need some instruction. I speak for the entire Genovian parliament and the royal family. And I speak for this family. Excuse me. I don't have a family with either one of you because you ignored me for 15 years and you lied to me. Families don't do stuff like that to one another, okay? Where is she going? The tower. Mia, you can't run from everything. She has a tower. Please, just come down from there. You know, most kids hope for a car for their 16th birthday, not a country. Just make yourself comfortable. Ooh. This is getting us nowhere. Talk to me. I can't talk to you right now. I'm late for a meeting with my guidance counselor. I'm late for a meeting with Spain and Portugal. And what? Mia promises to attend princess lessons until your ball. It's not my ball. It's Genovia's annual Independence Day ball. I'm sorry. Mia promises neither to accept nor reject your offer to be royal until this grand ball. And then she makes her decision. Now, can you both live with that? Seems I have no option. If I have to. But I want not one word of this until that evening. Is that understood? Duh. No, the press would have a field day. Oh. Let's not keep Spain and Portugal waiting. I'm going to be 16 this year, and my mom traded two paintings to get me a 1966 Mustang. You do know what a Mustang is, right? I raise Mustangs. That is not a sensible car for a princess. Well, you see, it's not really a sensible car for anyone. It doesn't run. Well, I suppose I could donate something to this vehicle. Good morning, Mr. Robitussin. Uh, who is this gentleman? Oh, he's my neighbor, but you wouldn't want to meet him. He doesn't have very nice manners. Good morning. There's someone I want you to meet. Okay. Whoa. You have two limousines? One is yours. Do you raise limousines, too? No. Amelia, this is Joseph. Hi, nice to meet you. The elegant European woman didn't stay for tea. Thanks. But the promise of tomorrow hung in the air. push it. It will go up and down the same way. Oh. Joseph, can we 86 the flags, please? No. The flags allow me to park anywhere. We keep the flags. Sorry, Joseph. You can call me Joe. Joey? <laughs> <laughs> no. Joe. <laughs> Going to a wedding? Uh, no, school. No, this is the uh, surprise ride. Come inside. This is Joe. Joe, Lily, Lily, Joe. Hi, it's nice to meet you. You know, you look like Shaft. Yes. Excuse me. You want a ride, right? Yeah, totally. Okay, I got it. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Oh, my word. Please fasten your seatbelts, ladies. Is your mother dating an undertaker? Uh, no. This long-lost grandmother showed up, and she wants me to use it. And? I, I don't know. I guess she's just trying to be nice to get me to like her. Oh. Hey, Joe? Can you please park a block away from school? I really don't want to cause a riot with this hearse. This is a non-riot hearse. And if it were a hearse, there would be silence in the back seat. <laughs> hey there, hello there, how do you do? This is Girl Mind saying hi to you. Go Mind! This is a reminder, virtual homework may not be submitted for actual credit. Tell me, Mia, is it true about your speech? Are you really speaking at the Believing Convention? So you can speak and bark at the same time? <laughs> Good glove, Michael. Way to go. That's the way to make the play. I'm going to let this one go. Mia, try catching, all right? Are you sure? It's slow pitch. You can catch it on a bounce. Don't worry okay. about it. Okay. Oh. Okay, now get it and throw it back to the pitcher. Okay. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I am so sorry. I, I'm, I'm really... I, I didn't mean to. And I'm, Can I help you? Ice. Get me ice. ice. And I'm on the verge of becoming a nutcase, and my parents think I need an attitude adjustment. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. Yeah, Ooh. so my dad wants to take me out to dinner tonight, just the two of us. We ran out of things to talk about when I was eight. Well, at least your dad's still alive. Hey, I thought you'd gotten over that. It's been, what, two months? I know, I know, but after all, he was my dad. Biologically, yes, but you never met the man. Just a nice card and gift on your birthday for 15 years? Hey, be fair, okay? They were beautiful presents. Remember that Fabergé Mary Grant he sent me? That was nice. And he paid for my school tuition. Yeah, I guess so. You know what, Lily? I gotta run, okay? I gotta go see your brother about my baby. Okay, well, let's take the limo tomorrow. These hills are killing me. Yeah, I know. It costs to be cool, huh? This is not my day. I'll do some labor free. Thanks, but I'll talk to my grandma about it. It'll be great. Anyway, I'll see you guys later, okay? I gotta be somewhere. Ooh, I'll do some labor free. You are uh, sweet on her. She's my sister's best friend. Yeah, that's the hardest place, place to be. Between friend and, uh, uh friendlier, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Majesty, the diplomatic pouch has arrived, and she's here. Send her in. Yes, ma'am. Amelia, welcome. Hi, straight ahead to your left. Her Majesty is ready for you in the library. Charlotte, take notes, will you? Amelia, circle slowly so I can evaluate the work to be done. Amelia, does your bad posture affect your hearing? Turn. Oh, sorry. No, 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 slowly turn. Slowly. Well, carriage, obviously. Hairstyle. Complexion. Stop. Eyes, lovely. But hidden beneath bushman eyebrows. The neck is seemly. Ears, like a father. Really? They are? Oh, my. Who has nails like these? Everybody. Well, tomorrow I would like to see clean fingers, and you will wear stockings, not 
tights, not socks, and I never want to see those shoes again. When walking in a crowd, one is under scrutiny all the time. So we don't schlump like this. We drop the shoulders, we think tall, <laughs> we tuck under, and we transfer the weight from one foot to... <laughs> No, princesses never cross their legs in public. Why don't you just tuck one ankle behind the other and place the hands gracefully on the knees? Charlotte, I think it's time for tea. Tell me, how does my mother, or really any person for that matter, go into a parent-teacher conference and come out with a date? Mia, Mr. Connell is not married. He's not living with anyone. Plus, he's not pierced, tattooed, or hair plugged. Do you realize how rarefied that is south of Market Street? Okay, did it ever occur to you that if you dated one of my teachers, it would give the other kids license to mock you for the rest of my life? Oh, well, you're right. I didn't, and I'm sorry. It's just that Patrick, Mr. O'Connell, is such a nice man. He's a real gentleman, and I haven't met one of those in a long, long time. Okay, okay, it's, it's fine. I just can't do anything right anymore, can I? Come on, boy! Come on, get her! Wait her! One, Mia, just block one. I can't do this. I'm a girl. What am I, a duck? No, I mean, you're an athletic girl, okay? I am a synchronized swimming, yoga doing, um, horseback riding, wall climbing type girl. My hand-eye coordination is zero. Yeah, All right, you can go again later. Josh, get in here. Yeah, I mean, so I was watching you earlier, and, um... You're way tense, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta use your hands. If all comes to you over here, you don't stand just like this. You gotta go for it. You gotta think like the ball. You gotta be the ball. You gotta stop it. You know what I mean? Just yeah. Bring it on. Hey, Joe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn the back seat into a dressing room so I can change into a proper outfit for Madame, okay? Yes, well, don't forget the shoes. Oh, thanks. Strange town, San Francisco. I purchased the pumps, asked if I wanted the wraps or if I wanted to wear them. All right, closing. Going up. Sounds dangerous. Grandma, is it customary in Genovia to imprison your dinner guests with um with Hermes scarves? It's Hermes. The scarf is merely a training tool. Eventually you will learn to sit and eat properly without it. Um, manners matter. But enough etiquette for the day. Now, Genovia does a lot of trade with Spain, so we prepare for that. Right. The quickest way to a Spanish heart is dance. Now, tell me, what kind of dancing do you do? Dancing? Oh, just a uh, normal kind, you know, like, um... Dance. We have a Genovian alternative. Now, the dance is here. Very sedate, right? From the hips. In place, no bobbing of the head, please. It is not a doggy on a dashboard. Straight, 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 straight up. Let's practice this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, now, now, this dance is between a waltz and a tango, you see? It's a wango? No. All right, here we go. Spin out. Go. And spin into me. Spin into me. <gasps> okay. I, no, 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 Spin in. Good. I did it? Yes. Grandma, I swam without hurting anyone. That's very good news. Spin, spin, spin. Yes, yeah, done. Better. It's coming along. Now you may go home. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Joseph. You've been wearing black.
sorry, but I can't do it today. I got a grandma thing, and just I'll call you, okay? Bye. What? Has your grandma turned into the big bad wolf? Shazam. Thank you, Jeremiah, but a way to a girl's heart is not by treating her like a vending machine. Get off the grass! You've got to open! Don't you see the lamb? She must have already. I don't know the good side. I'm going late. She's late. You're late. I know. I'm really sorry about it. And where is Paolo? Send in Paolo. Ah, always prompt. Regina Mia. Bonjour. My assistant. Gretchen and Helga. Good afternoon. We're so pleased you could make yourself available to be here. Your Majesty. We won't waste time. Let the work begin. Ah, of course. Where is the beautiful girl? And my granddaughter, Amelia. Ah! She is gorgeous. Let us take a closer look. Paolo, we have a limited number of days before the state dinner. Busy, busy, dizzy. In the best sense. Oh, I would like it if your ladies would also sign our confidentiality agreement. Majesty, they know what is a secret, huh? Stand a yeah? Excuse me, Your Majesty. The Genovian press secretary is waiting for your call. Oh, yes, of course. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave and come back and be surprised. Ah. Charlotte, watch him like a hawk. Uh, yeah. Who's the hell so we begin principles, huh? In Paolo's hands, remember, you will be beautiful. <laughs> you have a thicker hair, man. <laughs> like a wolf. He's all right. <laughs> Do you wear contact lenses? Well, I have them, but I don't really like to wear them that much. Now, you do. You broke my brush. Gretchen, Helga, attach. I love your eyebrows. We'll call them Frida and Carl. If Brooke Shields married the Groucho Marx, that child would have your eyebrows. You want to know a big secret? Tell me. The cucumber does nothing. <laughs> this is something we make up. You should sue. Well, um, <laughs> I know that it's, it's a little you know, straighter and shorter. Weirder? An attractive weirder. No, it's not attractive. Seatbelts, please. What I really can't understand, you ditched me again yesterday when I really needed your help on the Greenpeace petition. This bag. You have one of these bags? You know, we could hawk that and be a whole third world country. Am I right? No. If there are no more passengers, I think we should close the door. I mean, you used to care more about what was inside your head instead of on it. Come on, Mia. Fess up. I don't know where you are these days, and now you're turning into an A-Crab wannabe? You're morphing into one of them. And who knows? Next week, you could be waving pom-poms in my face. Who's sold out? Was 
Was my rear view mirror fogging up or was someone tearing back there? I'm fine. Very well, then I'll go meet your grandmother. But you should know that no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Eleanor Roosevelt said that. Yes. Another special lady like yourself. I'll be back at three o'clock. Do you really think wearing that hat is going to keep people from seeing your new Lana do? Just because the student population might be morally bankrupt, but it doesn't mean they're blind. Really? Just stop it, okay? Look, just because your hair sucks, get off mine. Ouch, thank you. Michael, can you please pretend you have a life for just one moment? Hey, relax. Breathe. <laughs> what did you just say to me? heard me. I am so sick of you bragging on me all the time and always telling me what to do. You know, I get enough of that from my mother and now my grandmother and I don't need it from you. I'm not an idiot. So I know that something's going on that you're not telling me. Friends tell. So you know what? Here is your friendship charm. I'm taking it off and it's going in the dirt. Don't do that, okay? Just... Uh, all right, just wait. Why? I'll tell you the truth, but you're gonna think it's really stupid. You're gonna freak. Try me. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I, is that all you can say? I'm sorry. Uh, I was harsh, and I, I don't know what else there is to say. Will you come on my cable show? I can. This is a royal secret, okay? You can't tell anyone. Not even my kids. It's special not Michael, but you are sworn to secrecy. Come on, secret handshake. <laughs> you know, we might have to think of a new secret handshake. Are you really sure you can run a country? I mean, you could barely keep your goldfish alive for more than a couple of days. You know, really, I'm not really sure of anything right now. Listen, there are pros and cons to being a princess. Shh. Don't shut up, Lord. Okay, to be here. Okay. Class has begun. Class has begun, and I have a little surprise for you. Pop quiz. French Revolution. Oh, Mr. O'Connell, um, there's a school rule that says nobody's allowed to wear hats in class, and I don't think anybody should be an exception to that rule, do you? No, Anna. I mean, I'm sorry, but hats are against the dress code. Yeah. Who's trying to fit in now? It's a wig, right? I think it looks really sweet, Mia. It looks like she got a head transplant. Well, I think it rocks. And you know what? Voltaire hair. I would personally like to learn about Voltaire. Okay, Lily, okay. Okay, everybody settle down now. Quiz time, okay? The roses are lovely, but now we need fountains, lights in the trees. The Japanese embassy has a waterfall, for heaven's sake. Why can't we have fountains? Well, we have a fountain up there, ma'am. Yes, well, I would like at least two in here. Charlotte, just make me an Eden. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Amelia, hmm? let's continue. In your spare time, I would like you to read these. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet. And so you wave to them and acknowledge them gracefully. Hello. No, no, not quite so big, because, of course, it's very, very exhausting after a while. Very funny, dear. Try it properly. Waving even more gently, Hello. you sort of say, thank you for being here today. Thank, thank you for thank being you. here. I'm sorry, ma'am. I must pick up the Prime Minister. Oh, oh, oh well, thank, thank you for being here today. So, this is considered art. My parents did this in the 60s. <laughs> yes. They had an exhibition at Woodstock. And I guess you're trying to bring it back? Well, you know, this beats homework. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, tell the kids with homework. We do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, I like it. Bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> Lessons. What are you doing this Saturday night? Oh, are you guys playing? We're rehearsing some new things. Mm. We got two new songs. Oh, yeah? Plus, surprise, we got the new parts for your stang. Oh, yay. <laughs> we could put it together, together. Okay, well, uh, just like a, a date? No. <laughs> well, Music, mm -hmm. cars. Well, what does it include pizza? Of course, pizza's a given. With M&M's? Wait up! Wait for me! Not you! I don't even know you! Well, then I am in. Hi! Right. 
this Saturday. It's on? Yeah, great. Hi. Hey, Lil. Hi. What's happening over there? I don't know. What's going on? Maybe it's a protest. Maybe. Um, excuse me. Hi. Uh, who are you all waiting for? There she is right there. That's me at the Mopolis. I'm waiting for you. Right here, Prince. Really? Talk to me. Lily, did you tell me? I didn't see anything. Lily, 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 Lily,
They're all happy to see you. Yeah, there she is. How is she? You are much prettier. Well done. The worst is over. Our diligent Prime Minister, Sebastian Lotez. Hello. And his lovely wife, Sheila. Hi, nice Hello, to meet you. Dear. And their charming daughter, Marissa. Oh, Lord Fricker, let me take your brandy glass. You won't need it in there. And easy on the schnapps. Remember the winter dinner. I'm not allowed to go to the party. <laughs> dinner is served. Her Majesty, Queen Clovis. Someday we will own Zenobia again, and you will be queen, and your face will be on a postage stamp. How are the children, Robert? Would you like to see them, then? There's Brian, and there's Bridget. Oh, they're beautiful. Would you like to see So, Mr. Prime Minister, how would you say the pear market is doing in Genovia? The Genovian pear market is blossoming, <laughs> if you'll pardon the pun. <laughs> I hear they're serving Lord Spivex filet on the bones before. <laughs> and that's their princess. <laughs> and they grow up so fast, don't they? Hi. Want to see me? Is it everything all right? Um, yes. Yes. What was happening with the ice bucket? Oh, um, I, I just had a clumsy moment. Yeah, okay. Okay. The food's delicious, by the way. Oh, it was for a feminist group in Scotland called Tarts for Tartan. Very exciting. Thank you. Between the courses to cleanse the palate. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 She didn't realize it was frozen. What should we do? Well, we should take that much too. Let's do the same thing. No, no, it's no, 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 experienced that instant headache when you eat ice too quickly? No. Wash your hands. It happens all the time. I would like to propose a toast. To the Baroness and Baron Van Token, may you always be Baron. Ah, the famous Genovian pear and cheese dessert. What else? Did you ever catch the I'm so pink. Was that my fault?
This place was such a mess when I first arrived. I've been spending every spare moment in it I can. Pick up one of these. Make yourself useful. Spray everything. You're not mad at me for what happened? Actually, I found it rather funny. It reminds me of my first royal dinner party. I accidentally knocked over a suit of armor, and the spear went right through the suckling pig. <laughs> Amelia, why don't we cancel lessons for today and just have some fun? Fun? You mean you're not, you're not like, too busy for something like that? Your Majesty, Lady Jerome has just arrived, and I have the French consulate's assistant on hold. He wants to confirm tonight's dinner. Send my apologies, cancel everything for today. I'm being shown San Francisco by a true San Francisco. Tell Joseph I'll need the car. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wait, um, I want to show you my baby. It's a she thing and it's all in me. I can be anything that I want to be. Who consider me a minority? They tell me how to do it. I haven't sat in the front seat of a car in the longest time. By the way, thanks for the money for my car, Grandma. So, where are you taking me? Well, uh, do you have any change? No, it's not appropriate for royalty to jingle. Okay, I'll get the change. Oh, this one's my favorite. What you mm -hmm. do is put a quarter in, and then you grab his hand. I touch that. Yes, you touch that. And then you uh, press the button. Yeah. And um, and then you uh, just go. Oh. All right. Looks like Rupert's cousin from Liechtenstein. Now, how do I know when it's right? Oh, it'll just go. Yeah, there you go. He's like, oh, 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 oh. You enjoy this humiliation? Well, it's hard the first time, but you can do it again. Hold uh, this. Thank you. Come on, you can do it, Grandma. Now I'm ready for you this time. About 15 years ago, he seriously considered renouncing his title because he met a lovely artist who showed him wonderful things about how life could be, how he could be. But? But he had a decision to make, and nobody could make it for him. Not I, though many people thought I did, or anybody else. Philippe knew that my firstborn, his brother Pierre, wanted to abdicate, which he did eventually, to join the church. Your father realized that the love he could have for one person, or even two, could not make him forget the love he felt for his country and its people. It was the hardest thing he ever had to do. Oh, oh. Do you want to us? Why not? <laughs> well, here goes. <laughs> It's delicious. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, well then, um, let's get another one. I know it's the fastest way back to the consulate, but I hate this hill. <laughs> I do believe I'm beginning to feel that corn dog. Uh, uh, maybe you could just sneak gently through. Okay, okay I'll try. Good. <laughs> right, now, you lay it on up. I, I got it. Yes, you've got <laughs> it. I, I got it. Uh, you've got it. of public property. I will, I will. And last but not least, driving without a license, accompanied by an adult whose license expired 45 years ago. I've been trying to tell you, officer, licenses don't expire in Genovia. Not for the Queen. Don't I have diplomatic immunity? You do, but her we have to take downtown. What? I'm sorry, miss. It's all right, officer. I, I understand. I, uh, I, I understand perfectly. You do? Mia, no town, no city, no country can function peacefully if its officers and its transportation engineers don't follow the letter of the law. Why, I would be proud to have two such fine, honorable gentlemen serving in Genovia. Oh, shucks, ma'am. Ma'am, we're, we're not all that. Oh, oh, 
but you most certainly are. As a matter of fact, I would like to bestow upon you the honor of the um, Genovian Order of the uh, Genovian Order of the Rose. Oh, oh ooh. 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 Won't you please kneel? Um, does anybody have a saber? Oh, I've got an umbrella. I, I have an emergency break. This will do fine, thank you. <clears throat> With the power vested in me by the royal crown of Genovia, I dub thee... Artie Washington, San Francisco man. Arthur Washington, and I dub thee... Bruce McIntosh of San Leandro. Bruce McIntosh. Masters of the Order of the Rose. And all of you bear witness to this auspicious moment in history. Please rise. Uh, now, Mia, I, I know you don't want to go all the way downtown, but... Uh, that really won't be necessary. No one got hurt, did they? Yeah, we're in short. Okay, well, we're shivering. Dead, you know, so... Uh, no, Arthur, how very kind. Do you need a lift home? Oh, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Come along, Mia. Goodbye, trolley people. Please take the car to Dr. Motors. Goodbye. You are awesome. You are the coolest queen ever. Oh, all in a day's work. Where's the pie? That's a queen. Hi. Uh, would you like to slide in first? No, I never slide. Bye. Thank you. Hey, Bruce, how about getting on your royal carriage and getting us out of here? Here she is. This is the possible new princess of Genovia, right here. That's right, Genovia. Anyone know where Genovia is? Anyone? Oh, it's a, it's a country between France and Spain. That was a question on Jeopardy. This is the girl that won the genetic lottery. Okay, back up. Let's princess? go. The princess is late for school. Could you sign my backpack? Hi, princess. You want to go? Please. Hi, what's your name? Lily. Lily? That's my best friend's name. Would you consider you and the princess best friends? Um, I, I would definitely say that. I mean, we, we do everything together. We shop together, we get our hair done together, we even finish each other's sentences. It's very cool. And what's your name? Charlotte. Charlotte? You two must be twins, huh? Yes. You know, I don't have any sisters, but I do have a cat. That's Louie. That's a funny name. <laughs> Will you take a picture with me, princess? The princess is late for algebra. Thank you so much. Back is back. <laughs> He didn't freak you out so much. No. <laughs> okay, good. Because I broke up with her because of it. And I hate phony publicity seekers. Anyway, Saturday night's the big beach party. Uh -huh. Well, I think it'd be cool if we went together. See you on the waves. Bye. <laughs> Attention, remember to watch Grove High School's TV cable show Saturday nights with your host, Lily Moskovitz. Michael. Princess? You will never guess, Josh Bryan just asked me. Can I borrow a comb? No. He asked me to go to the Baker Beach party with him. That's the Saturday, right? Well, yeah, so I was thinking um, I could come by the garage next week and listen to your band play then, all right? Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, well, I have to go, but... Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Too many feelings. Emotions running away with me. Joseph driving you? No, Joseph was nice enough to take the night off. I'm going to take the school bus with the other kids. Okay, I look like an asparagus. But a very, very cute asparagus. No, it's okay, don't worry. I'm just going to wear my blue suit. Are you nervous about the beach party? No, actually, I'm kind of excited. I think I might get my first real kiss. Oh, who from? Josh Bryant. That Backstreet Boy clone you've had a crush on forever. Okay, he is not a Backstreet Boy clone. He's a sailor. I thought he was never nice to you. Oh, well, I don't know. He is now. I just kind of hope that if he kisses me, um, my foot pops. Pops? Yeah. You know, 
in old films, whenever a girl would get seriously kissed, her foot would just kind of pop. change now. I hope you get your first real foot pop and kiss. We are Mark and Brian and welcome to the Baker Beach Bash. Now with one week left of school, you're, you're going to be out for the summer and we know what's on your mind. How are you going to find that summer love? And if you do, how do you know if it's true? Well, here to tell us all about it, please welcome Lana and the Lynettes. Lana and Give her a 
worth a thousand words, and you have two pictures. I really embarrassed the family, didn't I? Not to put too fine a point on it, yes, you did. I think you're making a wise decision to abstain from the job. I suppose I, I won't come to the ball, then. Well, of course you should come. You're still family. Just because you don't want to be our princess doesn't mean we're sending you into exile. Your mother's planning to come. All your guests are invited, except for your beach friends. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm meeting with the press in an hour to do some damage control. You can come in now. If I may say so, that did not go very well. Is this the way a princess should act? My information tells me that boy was using her. The kiss was merely a device so that he could get his 15 minutes of fame. And her friends didn't help either. They did Anna, Falana, Banana, Bandana, those Montana. I have no idea what you're talking about. Why didn't she have enough common sense to deal with this? She's only 15. But today she acted beyond her years. She showed great respect and gracefully accepted your criticism. You're saying that as a queen, I was too harsh on her. I was critical of the person who could become the next ruler of my country. You know, I'm saying as a grandmother, you might have been too harsh on your granddaughter. Do you think she can do it? Oh, I have no doubt, ma'am. I thought so, too. What makes you Can you autograph your picture for me? Josh did. Hey, there's Princess Pucker up. Really? Hey, can I talk to you for a minute, please? Lily, can I just talk to you for a minute? Is that cool? Sure. Let's talk. You broke my brother's heart, or how you stuck me with Jeremiah during my cable show doing pick a card, pick a card, pick a card. I'm sorry, okay? I forgot to call you and tell you that I couldn't make it. So I was stuck with a happy hood meeting while you're making out with a yachting yahoo. Those are really good alliterations. No, I want to talk about alliteration. Well, you know, I came up here to tell you that I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I missed your cable show, and I'm just really sorry. No, I can't believe that. You hung me up. After all I did for you, you know, I kept your loyal secret. And do you know how hard it is to have a cable show and keep a secret? You didn't keep it a secret from me, how jerky you thought my being a princess was. Well, congratulations, you got your wish. I'm not going to be a princess. You're not? No. But I want you to be. What? I didn't 
didn't mean it. Just the green monster of jealousy came out because you were Miss Popular and, and I thought I was losing my best friend, so I got angry and upset and hurt. And I told you, I need an attitude adjustment. But the truth is, you being a princess is kind of a miracle. No, no, what miracle? It's a, a nightmare. No, think about it. I just found out that my cable show only reaches 12 people. Wanting to rock the world, but having zip power like me? Now that's a nightmare. But you, wow. I mean, just... Okay, what is so wow? Wow is having the power to affect change, make people listen. How many teenagers have that power? What more of a miracle do you want? Well, we'll just have to find a different miracle, not more, just different. Listen. Tomorrow night is the Genovian Independence Day Ball, and to make up for my missing your cable show, I'm inviting you. I hope you'll forgive me, and I hope you come. What, what will I wear? Hey, yay! I don't know, but you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna be happy that you're gonna come. Thanks. And you can be a princess. No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can. Go, Alice, move in. Move in. Let's go. Bobby, Dad, hang up the phone. Yes, Mom. We'll go to the dentist after school. I hate it when I move in like that. Mia, it's not a championship game. It's not even a big game. It's just gym class. Just hit the ball. I don't want to flunk you in gym class. Come on, you can do it. Keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> It's a ball, not a snake. Back in formation. Oh, sorry. Bow ball. Okay, it's all right. Have a piece of it. It's okay. Just focus. 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 Come on, Mia. Remember, it's only a game. Join the ball. Hey, Mia. Would you rather hit a beach ball? Order me a pizza, huh? Pepperoni. Because, um, I, uh, called... I brought uh, your car. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm and, uh, to call Doc said and that he fixed what he could. If he had any times. problems, he gave him a call. Okay, um, do you want the check now? Because I have the last payment, and... Yeah, thank you. Are you hungry or thirsty? No. Oh, there it is. Um, look, thank you so much for doing this for me. It's really, really great of you. I didn't do it for you. Doc, that's my right, man practice. Right, of course. I help with the cars. Um, oh, here. Oh, thanks. I know you're still mad at me for blowing you off. And I'm really sorry I did. Um, but I am going to try to make it up to you. How? Well, um, I'm still going to the Genovian Independence Day Ball, and I'm inviting you. It, it could be fun. You know, I'm, I'm wearing this great dress that I can't breathe in, and Lily's got a date, and... Josh looks better in the tux. Oh, um, but, see, it's... I really want you to be the one I share it with. And you don't have to wear a tux. <laughs> you can wear sweatpants for all I care, you know? You don't, don't worry about me. I just consider myself royally flushed. Make Grow School more tofu friendly. Hello. Hi. 
Go sit by Jeremiah. I'll be there in a minute. Okay. She's wearing that dorky hat again. <laughs> hey, you want to see a trick? Um, no, not right now. What are you doing? Are you, like, writing a story? Or... Oh, well, my portfolio's increased by 30% since the last quarter. So I figured it has something Look what we have. Use. The perfect married couple, Jeremiah and Mia. Oh, Maya and Mia. <laughs> oh, but, um, listen, Jim, my friends and I were wondering, this sweater you're wearing, was it designed for you, or did the knitting machine just blow up? <laughs> Sunglasses, girls. Oh, it's Jeremiah hair glare. Is one of your magic tricks your hair? <laughs> <laughs> you line up? Huh. You know, that is such a cute cheerleading outfit. It's so clean cut. <laughs> I just, I bet it goes with anything. Of course it does! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I am. But you know what? Someday I just might grow out of that. But you, you will never stop being a jerk. Man, I got code. 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 Mrs. Gupta, did you see what she did to me? Oh, no. Honey, I'm sorry. I was in a very important meeting. Set it up for Jackie. present for your 16th birthday from your father it was found among his possessions my, my birthday's not for two weeks i know but i wanted you to have it before we leave i return to genovia the day after tomorrow thank you it's locked if you open the locket i gave you it becomes the key thank you for bringing it down here i also came to apologize for the way I spoke to you about the beach incident. It was judgmental of me. I didn't pause to verify the facts. That's all right, Carla. I've been thinking about it a great deal, and the truth is, I, I think you'd make a very fine princess. You know, people think princesses are supposed to wear tiaras, marry the prince, always look pretty, and live happily ever after. But it's so much more than that. It's a real job. You are an extraordinary person, Grandma. But I don't think I meant to do this. I, I would be so afraid that I would disappoint the people of Genovia, and I couldn't bear to disappoint you again. Well, as I said, I have faith in you. I'm a writer. Uh. I write soaps, soap opera. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see Middle House Road? No. It's a big hit. I wrote a character just like you once. He was a spy. I'm not a spy. That's what the character said. I'll see you tonight then. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, I do have one favor to ask. Mm -hmm. I need you to formally renounce your title for the press. <laughs> At the ball, you know? Uh, you make a speech? Mm hmm Oh, um, well, uh, do you think that maybe, considering my history with the press, it would be better if you did it? Oh, Amelia, you wouldn't stop driving your Mustang just because a couple of insects hit the windshield, would you? Besides, look how far you've come, and I'll be right there with you. I'll have Joseph pick you up at seven. Uh, no. Um, I promised I'd let my mom drive me. You know, she wants to drive me to my first ball or something. <laughs> All right. I'll see you there, then. Mm -hmm. uh, Grandma? I am sorry. Oh, my dear. You are first and foremost my granddaughter. Okay, I don't make speeches, and I'm not Clarice Rinaldi, and, and I just... 
I can't do it. Okay. I'm scared. Joseph. Oh, Charlotte, Miss Cullen. Yeah, hello. No, pardon me, I have to go get the van. Of course. Should you be going to get Princess Mia? Well, Mia told Clarice that her mother would be bringing her. Helen just arrived and said Mia was waiting for you. She's going to run. Come on, Fat Louie. Time to pack. Let's get your things. Louie? What have you got there? Come on, Louie. We're going on a trip. We're going to Colorado where we can climb some real rocks. Curb, you're so out of here, Louie. My dearest daughter, today is your 16th birthday. Congratulations. I present you with this diary to fill the pages with your special thoughts. Special thoughts of your wonderful life. It is a custom in my family to pass on a piece of wisdom when one reaches this age. I pass it on to you as my father passed it on to me. Amelia, courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the judgment that something else is more important than fear. The brave may not live forever, but the cautious do not live at all. From now on, you'll be traveling the road between who you think you are and who you can be. The key is to allow yourself to make the journey. I also want you to know I loved your mother very much and still think of her often. Happy birthday, my Mia. All my love, your father. And there's Countess Puck of Austria as the glamorous continue to arrive at the Genovian Independence Ball. Despite the threat of rain, the big turnout includes the mayor of San Francisco and the Genovian pear juggler. The future of Genovia is in the hands of young Mia Thermopolis. Her decision tonight will affect the queen, the court, and all the people of this small but proud country. Do you think it's gonna rain on us? It never comes down on Willie Brown. <laughs> Thank you. Umbrella's up. And that's enough pear juggling. The trip is off, Louie. <laughs> you know, are famous for their impeccable taste in art. Also for their cheese. Maybe it's string cheese. Don't hear this, baby. Gotcha! Sorry, Mr. Robinson. Here you go. It's all already paid for. I didn't order pizza. I'm sorry. Man. No, no, you must have. Unless there's another Michael Moskovitz living here, we get a call, we deliver. That's our motto. You don't make the pizza. No, no. I just deliver them. Press passes. Thank you, thank you. Oh, hi. Where are you from? Uh, Teen Scene Magazine. Oh, good. <laughs> good. The queen has entered. Do we have any news on the Van Trochen matter? It'll be decided tonight, ma'am. I'm afraid so. Where is she? She went somewhere. I know nothing. Nothing. Oh, what? What? Oh. oh. She went that way, then that way, two minutes ago. Thank you very much. Do we have any problems? No, everything's perfect. Perfect. It's wonderful. You're, you're not very good at lying, Charlotte. No, I'm not, Your Majesty. But the garden looks beautiful. Thank you. Come on, baby, you can make it. Yes, come on. Yes. No. Baby, baby please, come on. There's no answer at Princess Mia's house, and I couldn't get Joseph on the cell phone. There's too much static from the storm. The press are starting to complain about making their deadlines. If she's not here in ten minutes, I'll make the announcement. Yes, ma'am. It's okay. It's okay. She'll be fine. She's gonna get here. It's a punishment for driving without a license driver in the front seat! I am invisible. 
And I am what? The press was wondering if it would be possible while we were waiting. No, to... no interviews until later in the evening. Yes, ma'am. And we're meeting Baroness and Baron von Troken. Is it true if the teenager refuses the princess ship, your family will take over the country of Genovia? Yes, they must have a legitimate and an only blood relative, or we rule. No, ma'am. Then it's time. Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. Never let it fade away. You wouldn't have to be running away, would you? What? Dress like this? No, I'm too no, ball. Good. Get in. My fellow Genovians and honored guests, good evening. I apologize for the delay, and... Oh, hello. Oh, and may I say, welcome to our grand Genovian independence. Hurry, hurry. No, no, no. No time to change. You'll look fine. Pretty and fine. Just fine. Oh, no, 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 no running. Please, no running. Yeah. Good. 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 Thank you so much for your patience. I have an announcement to make. My granddaughter... <clears throat> She's here. She's here. I would like to announce that my granddaughter has arrived with a fascinating explanation as to her wardrobe, I'm sure. She's styling a wet, sort of grunge look hairdo and is wearing a sweatshirt, jeans, and docks. Mia, would you care to say a few words? Um, yes. Why don't we dress like her? We look like idiots. Thank you, Your Majesty. Do you think they're trying to save money on the gown? Hi, er, I'm, uh, hello. I'm Mia. Um, it stopped raining. <laughs> Get your tiara ready. <laughs> I'm really no good at speech making. Uh, normally I get so nervous that I, I, I faint or run away or um, sometimes I even get sick. <laughs> but you really didn't need to know that. Um, but I'm not so afraid anymore. No, my, my father helped me. Earlier this evening, I had every intention of giving up my claim to the throne. And my mother helped me by telling me that it was okay and by supporting me like she has for my entire life. But then I wondered how I'd feel after abdicating my role as Princess of Genovia. Would I feel relieved or would I feel sad? And then I realized how many stupid times a day I use the word I. In fact, probably all I ever do is think about myself. And how lame is that? When there's like seven billion other people out there on the planet. Huh. And when... Mm. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm going too fast. But then I thought, if I cared about the other seven billion out there instead of just me, that's probably a much better use of my time. See, if I were princess of Genovia, then my thoughts and the thoughts of people smarter than me would be much better heard, and just maybe those thoughts could be turned into actions. So this morning when I woke up, I was Mia Thermopolis. But now, I choose to be forevermore Amelia Mionette Thermopolis Rinaldi, Princess of Genovia. I hope you didn't order your stationery yet. This was my very first tiara. I was rather fond of it. I'm hoping you will be too. Grandma, did you... You had it already. How did you know I'd even be here? Because I recognize the same spirit in you as someone else I know. Hmm? Who? Me. Ah, well, you made it. I bet you'll laugh if you'd be tall a string to you. Here. Follow here to save the day. Genovia. 
the land I call my home, Genovia, Genovia, forever will your banner wave. Her Majesty Queen Clarice and Her Royal Highness Amelia, Princess of Genovia. Thank you. No longer does Mia stand for missing in action. Genovia has a new princess. But now the garden is occupado. <laughs>
Thank you.